Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. Uh, first of all, is to congratulate the leader of majority party, the Honorable Kimani Shungwa, for bringing up this particular bill, the Coffee Bill of 2023 and the chair and the committee of the Com Departmental Committee on Agriculture for really doing justice to the recommendations made on this, uh, on this bill and the report that they have tabled uh, this afternoon really speaks a lot that they have the, the interest of the coffee farmers at heart. Honorable Speaker, I've had a chance to check on various research that has been done by credible institutions such as Carlo uh, International Coffee Organization, the University of Nairobi, the Coffee Board of Kenya, the Coffee Research Institute, among other reputable research institutions in this republic, on what has been ailing the coffee sector, Honorable, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, there are around six reasons or th six problem statements that have been said, that have been clearly been agreed upon by these particular research institutions that have been ailing the coffee sector, Honorable Speaker. One of them is the low the low and volatile prices of coffee. So whereas coffee is such a lucrative plant, especially in the international market, we've seen the price of this coffee both in the, national, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the local market and in the international market fluctuate so much that it has led to unpredictable returns for farmers. And this has made farmers either move out from, uh, from planting coffee or uh, uh, not getting the right returns for this in, investment, honorable speaker. And I was trying to compare that then, how does a coffee bill of 2024 then solve that particular problem of low uh, prices and volatility? Honorable Speaker, I'm very impressed by the recommendation in the bill to introduce guarantee minimum returns that will ensure that the farmers will be assured of their respective uh, prices for their coffee, Honorable Speaker. Further, um, I will be recommending to the committee and during the committee of the whole of the House to include further amendments to allow uh, the, the, the way of ensuring that there is this uh, uh, guarantee minimum returns and stabilization of, 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 of these prices by using uh, modern uh, forms of, of hedging against fluctuation in prices, such as use of, using of futures and, use, and, and, and use of tokenization. Where, well, Honorable Speaker, with the current technology, it is possible for that coffee farmer in Kiambu or, or in Moranga from where else in the country to put part of, the, part of their, their coffee in the international market through tokenization and get uh, investment and get return and, and, and better prices for their coffee through uh, tokenization or through use. Again, this bill uh, uh, is proposing several amendments that will uh, reduce the high cost of production of this particular uh, uh, plant. One of the greatest efforts that the current administration we have seen do is introduction of uh, stabilized uh, uh, fertilizer as one of the ways of subsidizing the production of, the, of coffee and speaker. In the subsequent amendments that we'll be seeing in this house, especially from the Finance and National Committee, would be to exempt uh, duties and levies on uh, inputs, on other inputs such as uh, pesticides and uh, 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 such as pesticides control, honorable speaker, so that we can make the cost, we can reduce the cost of production uh, on this uh, particular product, honorable speaker. The other cost that has risen the cost of production for coffee has been lack of access to market, uh, access to, to credit, honorable speaker. But we are happy that this bill again is introducing a farmer stabilization fund. And this fund is supposed to be uh, availed to coffee farmers at low interest rates, and therefore this will, uh, uh, in a way, uh, hedge them against the high cost of production, especially the high cost of credit in this country, Honorable Speaker. The issue of aging uh, coffee trees has also been uh, uh, targeted, uh, has also been said as one of the, uh, of the reasons why uh, uh, the coffee sector has been in a speaker. Now, the establishment of uh, a research institution and a fund to actually fund that particular research institution, then will make sure that the coffee trees or the coffee plants that we are available to our coffee farmers are those trees that are going to, to last longer and have a, a much higher yields, and therefore uh, tackling the other challenge that has been said as one of the challenges in the coffee sector, which is the aging of uh, coffee trees on the speaker. The issue of poor corporate management or in the cooperatives of these coffee farmers has also been a thorn in the fresh for farmers, Honorable Speaker. 
I'm impressed that also, uh, uh, Madam Speaker, now this bill also seeks to address this particular uh, challenge by uh, having more stringent regulations affecting the way these cooperatives are run, Honorable Speaker. Because most of these uh, farmers are only able to sell their coffee through their local cooperatives. And when now there is lack of proper uh, uh, corporate governance, these particular uh, cooperatives are actually led to the collapse of this sector and very poor return on investment to the farmers, Honorable Speaker. So this bill now, by it addressing itself to this issue of poor uh, corporate management in, uh, by these cooperatives, will be a great uh, re uh, source of relief to our coffee farmers, Honorable Speaker. The issue of pests and disease control has also been a great contributor uh, to the, the challenges that have been uh, happening in the, around the coffee sector. And again, the establishment of this uh, 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 research institute and uh, proposed uh, funding for this particular institute will now lead to uh, better uh, uh, and environmental uh, friendly and cheaper ways of pest and disease control so that uh, farmers can have longer lasting uh, trees and they can have better quality coffee that we're going to give the maximum returns on the speaker. Lastly, a key uh, challenge has also been said to be that of uh, brokers and middlemen. And, and, but however, now this bill is, pro is proposing to have direct sales uh, for export and licensing, and therefore uh, farmers now will have a chance to sell directly uh, to the, to the, to the uh, local and national market, and therefore bypassing all those exploitative intermediaries around the coffee sector, Honorable Speaker. So looking at what research uh, has shown as the challenges that there exist in the coffee sector, and looking at what this bill has done, Honorable Speaker, I am convinced that this particular bill is as passed by uh, the, 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 the Agriculture Committee and as recommended in the detailed report the Agricultural Committee has done, is going to be the lifeline that the coffee farmers of this country have been looking forward to so that those, uh, those our people in those areas that grow coffee can be able to take uh, their, their, their children to school, they can be able to live a, a good life, they can be able to take care of the expenses, they can be able to look at coffee as an investment and not just uh, think about uprooting them and selling off the land where that coffee has been planted or not, because they are going to get a good return on the investment. And as I wind up, Honorable, Honorable Speaker, uh, Jackie Chan once said that coffee is a language in itself. And I know during this time when there is a lot of political conversation around this country, this quote by Jackie Chan cannot speak to that any better, that coffee is a language in by itself. And one uh, Clark Globe said, I never laugh until I've had my coffee. The coffee farmers will not laugh until they've got better returns for their coffee. And I know this will make them get a laugh because they are going to get a good return on the investment on their coffee. With that, I beg to support Madam Speaker. Thank you, the Honorable Member for Gidunguri, Honorable Gadoni Wamushomba. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise on the onset to support this bill.